President Muhammad Buhari has been urged to direct immediate investigation of all companies and personalities indicated in the recent Pandora Papers. The Pandora Papers, which has stacked one of the biggest corruption leaks initiated by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists and over 600 journalists from 117 countries, recently exposed systems and secrecy jurisdiction that enable and abet crime, corruption, and illicit dealings by politicians, influential individuals, and their enablers globally. Addressing a news conference in Abuja, Executive Director of the Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, Sislak, Awal Musa of Sanjani, said the development reflects deficiencies in the nation's financial regulatory systems, which are attributed to the annual loss of $18 billion to illicit financial flows out of Nigeria. He urged the presidency to set aside party affiliation, political sentiments, and ensure proper investigation of the names mentioned in the report and bring all those indicted to account. There seems to be lack of understanding of corruption in the government and how to fight corruption. Because if you understand that, there's no way this kind of thing that attracted global attention, that countries like America, Canada, have taken decisive action against their nationals who were involved in this scandal. But in our own case, we are even awarded with position. If we are serious about fighting corruption, political corruption is a key fundamental issue that government must decisively dealt with. Because of your party affiliation, you are facing criminal charge in the court. And once you decamp to the ruling party, then you will even be seen taking photographs with the person who is even leading the party against corruption. That will demoralize Nigerians. The group further highlighted various options it wants the federal government to explore in efforts to change the narrative. The federal government must equally work with the National Assembly to remove all the obstacles, public access to asset declarations of every eligible public officer. The Company and Allied Matters Act Kama 2020 provides for the setting up of a beneficial ownership register. We call for the government to fully implement this so that the beneficial owners of companies in Nigeria can be identified. And the voluntary offshore asset regularization scheme to enable Nigerians with undisclosed assets to declare them and pay taxes where they are liable. With the electioneering period approaching, INEC, CBN, the NFIU, and other relevant agencies must ensure that political parties conform to political party financing regulations and prevent the use of dirty money in Nigerian's politics. They want the government to live up to expectation this time around and change the perception of paying lip services to serious corruption cases. Palang Booker, CNN News.